Roblox is removing R6, but it's actually not as bad as it seems. Let's take a look and see how it'll affect glitches in the future. So on July 18, 2022, Vizu was looking through a Roblox Eternal document and he found this. Phase 1. Update R15 to achieve gameplay parity with R6. This means that R6 is basically not fully removed. We'll still have the same animations, hitboxes, and collisions. That means instead of having this animation for the Dance 2 emote, we'll have this one. That means we'll have an R6 feel, but visually we'll have an R15 character. They want to use the R6 physics and hitboxes because the R15 ones really suck and we all know that they're really bad. Now the original R6 animations wouldn't really look good on an R15 character, which means that the R15 characters will most likely be in a fixed position so that the R6 animations can work smoothly. And luckily, someone has already done that for us. Now we can actually showcase and see what it would look like in R15. And that person is Stalkalek. He says, R6 to R15 animation pack. On the 21st of July, I started remaking all R6 default animations into R15 as accurate as possible. Developers are free to use this pack if they want to enable R15 in their game with the look of the default R6 animations. And the video attached to this tweet shows the different comparisons from R6 to R15 animations and as you can see the R6 animations look really good on R15 and it's most likely what Roblox will do to make R6 animations compatible with R15. So this is what R15 looks like in-game with a fixed position. This game will be in the description down below, but the only things that are accurate are the animations and the fixed position. So the physics, hitboxes, are all from R15, so they won't be R6 physics. That means if you're practicing a glitch here and it doesn't work, that doesn't mean that it's going to be patched when the update comes out, because R6 and R15 are really different when it comes to collision and hitboxes. Roblox will most likely have it when you equip an R15 emote that goes out of the fixed position and does all those bending animations with all the 15 parts. I feel like this is actually the most accurate way that Roblox is going to go with this update. Kind of have it in a fixed position, still work with the R15 emotes, but also work with the R6 emotes. With R15 at a fixed position, it's really hard to tell it's R15, just the way it's positioned. Once you do the emote, you can obviously see that it's bending and stuff. If this is actually what Roblox is going to do on the update, then it wouldn't be actually that bad, and it could always been worse. If a lot of these R15 glitches stay, it would just be so insane having R6 physics with R15 emotes because you could just go through very big walls in any game. The thing I find really weird about this fixed position is just the scaling in general. If scaling does look like this in the future, then we will be able to do dance two clips through one stud walls. But if R15 becomes a fixed character, I don't know how they would use all the other animations that are in the catalog, like the ninja animation, the robot animation. The R6 animation would just be the default one, while the other ones can be just ones that you can buy. But they're also probably not going to be forcing R6 animations, so that will be the only one in the game. I find it really strange, because those animations don't really work for a fixed character, and people spent a lot of Robux on these animations, so how would it work? Maybe it can be a developer setting, where the developer can pick if they want all animations or just default animations, but we'll have to see. Now the physics and hitboxes part will be very straightforward. It's basically that Roblox will take our six physics and the only thing that really is changing here is just the look of your character. It won't be R6 anymore, but the feeling of R6 will still be there, which is very important. This update will come anywhere around the fourth quarter of the year, so October 1 to December 31st. Right at the moment, there's not too much to expect. You don't really know because we don't have too much information. But we can go off of logic and basically guessing. But the question at the start we had is, how will this affect glitches in the future? Now, when you do a laugh clip in the game, it doesn't work. But that's because we are using R15 physics, which means that the head has no collision. The laugh clip relies on head collision. So as long as we have R6 physics, the laugh clip should work in the future. As long as R15 is a fixed character and uses this animation, we should be able to dance clip. With R6 heads having collision when clipping, this will make more opportunity for more R15 emotes to be able to clip. Or at least a lot easier, for example, the salute clip. So as long as we have a fixed character, R6 physics, hitboxes, and animations that work the same how they originally were, not too many glitches should be patched, but there's always some that could. And besides, this could be a chance to find even more glitches. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.